pretty early. I think I woke up at 7.30 and I laid in bed, read my book for like an hour and a half and then I got up and made my coffee and now I'm reading again. But I only have an hour left so I really want to finish it. I'm currently reading Twisted Games from the Twisted series. I think this is book number two. I love it when books intertwine and come together and that just happened right now. But I'm gonna keep going. I'm at 83% so it says it's gonna take me an hour. So I will update you guys soon. So I just finished getting ready, just applied my lip product. I just recently bought this e.l.f. lip oil. It's the Reviver lip oil. I got it in the color pink quartz because they only had two available at my Ulta when I went. So they only had this color and like um i think it was just like a gloss color so i was like oh i guess i'll try this but i didn't think i would like it because i thought it was too bright but it's actually perfect so i'm really happy about this purchase i think it was only like six dollars but i'm ready to go run errands we have a return to make and then actually two returns to make i need to go to barnes and return um twisted lies because i got two copies so i'm gonna return the one i got from barnes and hopefully get hopeless from the reckless series i know the new cover just came out and barnes said they would have it i think as of yesterday so january 30th so hopefully i can get my hands on that and add it to my stack but i'm very excited <laughs> We got the new book. I was so excited when I saw it on the stand and I'm so excited to bring it home with me. Just made my next return. It was a boring return. I just had to go to AutoZone, but I just came to a coffee shop. I'm gonna sit here and read. Um, I think I, I need to look up the like books that these authors dropped with Amazon. I believe there's like five books and Abby Jimenez wrote one of the books. So I already downloaded that one and I'm going to get myself a coffee and just read for a little bit. I just finished reading that book and I thought it was so cute. I just love Abby Jimenez's is writing. Um, I feel like all of her books are always so good. But I remembered I remembered that I didn't update you all on um, me finishing Twisted Games. Oh my gosh, I forget. The order of the books but number two in the twisted series i finished reading that this morning honestly i liked it grumpy sunshine close proximity he was her bodyguard um i really enjoyed it and honestly it was like princess vibe it was princess and her bodyguard you want to watch like the princess diaries and um, it was giving me like that kind of vibe but i don't know if it's just me or if there was like so much like smut in that book that I was just like not into it and I heard the third book is like really spicy so I don't know I mean I want to read it because I want to finish the series but I don't want that to be like my next read so for now I think I'm going to read another book um, maybe just like some standalones in between and then go back and read that one but I did give it like a three and a half stars um overall I enjoyed it but I just think like the end or like three quarters of the way in I was just like mm, this is getting kind of long but I still liked it 
and I would recommend the series still even though I'm only on book two even though I just finished book two um hopefully it just gets better I have two more to go I'm halfway through but I did enjoy reading the Abby Jimenez book that I just read right now the worst wing woman ever or wing man ever I need to double check that I, I, I already forgot what it was called but it was so short somebody just packed next to me um it was so short I think it was like less than 100 pages of that like it took me an hour or less than an hour to read so I just sat in the coffee shop finished my coffee and now I'm done now I'm about to head home I was editing this video and then I realized that it was really short and I should have gone through my January wrap up so I thought I would go through it really quick. This is my reading log. I got this for my birthday so I've been filling it out it's like a reading record page too but I don't keep track of when I read just the books that I read. The book that I read of the year was The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins. Um, it's like the prequel to The Hunger Games. I'm sure a lot of you have seen the movie. The movie was just as good as a book in my opinion. Um, I really enjoyed both. Um, I did watch the movie first before I read the book. So I don't know if that's why because usually I do like the books more than the movies. But I did give this book four stars and I do also recommend the movie. The second book that I read was the first book in the Twisted series. So I read Twisted Love by Anna Hong. Um, oh, I also am writing down um, because there's like a there's a section on here that says if you read like the physical book, the Kindle version or like whatever book format you read. So I've been writing it down. So the first book that I read was a physical book. Second book was through Kindle, but I also do own the physical book. Um, it was just easier for me to like move around with it. So I read it on my Kindle. Um, I did really enjoy this book. Um, it wasn't, I think it's a little overrated. I don't know if the whole series is going to be like this. I am only on the third book right now. I haven't even started the third book yet, but I rated it at three stars. Like, I don't know. I don't know if it's just, it's just not giving me everything that it needs to give. Or maybe if I read it in a different point in my life, it would be different. Like maybe if I read it last year, I would have loved it. I don't know. I don't know, but I give it a three stars. So that brings me to the third book that I read in January, which was Twisted Games, book number two in the Twisted series. Also read this on my Kindle because it was on there. I do also own the physical copy. Um, I also gave this one three stars. Same concept here. It wasn't giving what it needs to give. I also thought this one was a little too long. Um, I don't know, there was a lot of back and forth in there. You guys heard me talk about this book already earlier in this video, but I did give this um, a three and a half stars actually, but I do recommend them. I feel like if I read them in a different point in my life, I really would like them. <clears throat> and then the fourth book that I read, I also included in this video, was The Worst Wing Woman Ever on Kindle by Abby Jimenez. I love her books in general. Uh, I give this five stars, probably because I love her writing and her style of books and the characters that she comes up with. I love them all. Um, also, this is like a really short read. I think it was under a hundred, under a hundred pages, if not like a hundred. But I really enjoyed that book. And then the last book that I read in January, I read The Exception to the Rule, which is another book in that mini series so it's a very short read very easy short read but this one was from christina lauren obviously it's only available on kindle or audible i believe but i read this on my kindle also gave this a five stars um and i do recommend all of these books Oh, apparently I read more books. Okay, I think I just messed up the order here. I did read Hopeless and then one more, one other book and one other book um, in January. But I read Hopeless right after I read, I don't know if it was right after, right after I read The Ballad of the Songbirds and Snakes, but Hopeless was uh, the last book in the Chestnut Spring series. I love that series. 
in my cowboy romance era. Um, I did love that series. I did not. That one was not my favorite book. I gave it a three stars, um, which the other books I gave like four. I did read that one and I do recommend the whole series even though the last book was all right. I just feel like I didn't really know the characters so like I felt like the characters didn't really know each other but then they were in love you know. So that's all I have to say about that one but that's Hopeless by Elsie Silver. And then the last book that I read which I think I also read this one after Hopeless so in between Hopeless and the Twisted books. So in between Hopeless and the Twisted books, I read Same Time Next Year, which was a really short read by Tessa Bailey. I read it on the Kindle. Um, it was like a hockey romance. So I gave it a three star, three out of five stars. Um, it was just a really short read and it was just like kind of predictable. But I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm about to start a new video. So you'll see me again in this outfit in my next video. Bye.